Hey, Nova, how's your brother? <laughs> Thank you for asking. He's doing wonderful. Um, he's out in the school now. He's learning how to use the microwave and cook and all that stuff. Um, he's really happy. I haven't seen him in a, in a little bit. I probably won't see him for another couple months, but whenever I go home, I like to, you know, he's getting, he's, he's a teenager now. He doesn't like being kissed on the face. So <laughs> whenever I go home, I have to like pin him down and kiss him on the face because he always tries to run from me. But he's doing well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> What was the emotions, the thoughts and feelings as you sat in the audience and watched the documentary tonight? <laughs> um, uh, me and Nova kept on going back and forth about how we remember like the pieces, and um, I think it was really hard our senior year watching us lose the semifinals. So every time we kind of see it on the screen, like oh. And um, <laughs> the year before that, we also lost by a, a, like a tenth of a point too, and it's just like really hard. But at the same time, you kind of really miss like all of it, like. I don't know, being in college, you really can't find anything like it. So I think part of me is just like, man, I really missed like, going to Lara and Bomb and like, just wish I could replay those years of my life really bad, so. Um, this is actually not the first time I've seen it, so I wasn't really like surprised by it. But the first time I saw it was in Chicago. And um, I remember first I was like, oh my God, that turned out so good. <laughs> I was like, wow, they did a really good job with this. But I think when I first, I didn't, really understand, you know, how, how, how I could make myself feel. You know, it's different when you're performing something, but then when I saw it, I was like, oh my God, I started crying. I was like, I was like, I need some tissue, what's going on? But, um, I don't know, and then like she said, it was just, it's, it's, it takes you like right back to those mind states that you were in when you actually were there and like, seeing Nate's piece, you know, I was up there like, oh, yeah, like memorizing his piece. I was like, look, I got these other poets stuck, you know, so. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, yeah, I, for me, obviously it's not, again, not the first time I've seen it, um, but it, there's some really surprising pieces for me, like the piece where my mom is talking like about her addiction. I wasn't there for those interviews, so I never... Like the, I never saw that until the, the film actually, until we were actually presented with the film. Um, so some of that was kind of enlightening for me. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's, it, it is, it's a crazy thing to have your, your senior year of high school like documented. It's such a, <laughs> it's such a you know what I mean? Like the junk is, is there. <laughs> um, real quick, adding on to the, to the question, two questions before about like what got you writing. I think it's not also, not only about what gets you writing, but also about what keeps you writing. And I think that what you were watching, the community that sort of, uh, that, they, that they try to show really hard in this movie is sort of what keeps you writing and what keeps you coming back and what keeps you going, even, even when you feel like you've said everything you have to say. So I think, I think that's one more important thing. Um, this was the first time that I saw this movie, which was really interesting because like I know all of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like, that was that was my freshman year of college when they did this and and I, I remember getting all the phone calls and getting told all of the all of the gossip and all the different things but to see it on screen um, like Tabitha said it's just like a really powerful reminder of what what a beautiful thing it can be to to really just share and grow with everybody and of course you know the the little moments are what I remember best like the moment where uh, Miss Graff tells Nate yeah. that not only is he someone who's like willing to like sit at the top, but he also is about you know trying to encourage everyone and trying to teach everyone how to write. Or the moment where like Adam wins the Spirit Award, like those those little moments are so powerful. I think. Uh, it, I mean, I loved it. I love the movie. <laughs> Seal of approval. <laughs> um. Yeah, we've seen it a bunch of times now, ex all of us except for Jose, and um, I mean, as I sat here and as I'm standing here on stage, I'm I, like really filled with, I guess, mostly gratitude and, um, and this sense of amazement at how far uh, it's come and what a long, strange trip it's been, you know, because um, we were in high school, you know, and... Um, just like two weeks ago, me, Tab, and Nova were watching it at the 
a children's film festival in Providence, and now we're like going places and answering questions. And we found out recently that there's now a louder than a bomb Tulsa, Tulsa, Tulsa yeah. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And so, like, I think it's important to to realize that John and Greg, the filmmakers, didn't just make the the story or didn't like just film the story they they did make and contribute to and further the story because like now everyone in this room gets to take away something from tonight and and bring that into the world and we're actually like continuing the the so-called revolution you know or whatever the we're, we're we're making changes um by telling these stories we're shaping the world so i'm full of gratitude for that Um, by funny coincidence, I study poetry um, <laughs> and education, um, and yeah, I wanna I wanna keep helping out, doing doing what Louder Than a Bomb is doing in whatever way I can. Um, I studied African American studies. I graduated this past May, um, and I'm working at a high school uh, in Boston now. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I study a double. I'm a double major in English creative writing and African American studies. Oh, oh, at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee. I am absolutely 110 percent not an English education or math major. <laughs> um, I <laughs> I go to Smith College in Northampton. <laughs> Ow, ow, okay. <laughs> and um, I'm a psychology major yeah. with an emphasis in social personality, abnormal, clinical, and behavior, psych, nice. and a double major in Spanish. Um, <laughs> I go to Boston University. I study political science and journalism with a minor in Spanish. I think um, Kevin in the movie really shows that really well. Like sometimes you just don't know what to write about, and I think you can't really force it. But everybody does have a good story to tell, and it just has to come to you. So sometimes you think that you're gonna write about your dad for something, and it's being that you're gonna write completely something like different. So I think the craft is really learning to have patience with poetry because you can't really force it at all. But then as far as like what your relationship with it, like everybody has problems. I mean, high school is really complicated, and I think. It really emphasizes how different each of us are, but yeah, we know each other through poetry, and that we could definitely share our stories with each other. So it's pretty even when I like with each of those dynamics. I would say. <laughs> Copy and paste everything she said. Cosine. <laughs> yes. Sweet. I'll agree, and also just add on real quick. <laughs> that, um, <laughs> I guess like. It's interesting, I, this is kind of answering a different question, <laughs> but um, I think the poetry slam format was a really interesting way to kind of wrestle with that um, question because sometimes, you know, when you're writing for a competition, it's really weird and it's kind of a contrived way of writing and you, you ask yourself that question, you're like, uh, is this story really good enough? Like, is this a like 9.5 story or whatever? Or um, and like, so you wanna you wanna develop both. You want you wanna practice the the writing, um, and find that place where it's true and you can get passionate about it. Uh, and I think a lot of us, or at least I won't speak for all of us, but I'll speak for myself. I had to go through a phase where I was really kind of wanting validation and like trying to prove myself um, through the form of the slam and that was when I kind of learned the lesson that, oh, you really have to write what you know and stay true to yourself and not force it, like we've been saying. And so it was a valuable lesson. Can I just ask one question? Uh, are you guys still writing? Yeah. Uh, yeah! <laughs> every day! Well, maybe not every day, but a lot. <laughs> 
got poems yes. for days. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about? Can I slam now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>